So this is our weekly checklist because schooling never stops. <laughs> this is our, we are in the second half of the day and they wanted to work on some things. So I'm trying to not hold them back from doing stuff they want to do. So we are scheduled to do this tomorrow, which is Tuesday. But I'm gonna let them go ahead and get started now. So what I just printed out and laminated was this weekly checklist. Um, I told you guys about my schedule issues and I think this is gonna help us out a little bit more. And that will be our weekly checklist. I think this goes here. We're back at it with our building human body. You know how we feel about these. Yes. Also, you guys, what I love about the tables that we have is that we move them around all the time to fit what we need. If you notice, these came from out in the studio. And we just moved them here because they were working better for us. Then the circle table, I just moved over into that corner because we needed a little space in the middle of the room. So that's working out for right now. And I'm going to let them build there. You need my help reading those? These, but I'll do the bottom. Okay. On the very first day, she had this to say, We do not talk of buildings in here. Kendall, okay, we need one more of these. Uh -huh. See? Oh. There's 06. That's there. <laughs> oh, that's not how you do it. This is my head. And skeletons cannot eat. Oh yes, they can. <gasps> oh, those are the lungs. So that's part of the digestive system. Wait, those are the lungs? The lungs? Where's the O12? Where's the O12? The liver. So I think this is the liver. The food goes down from. Wait, where's my head? The food goes down from the neck. It goes down to, to the liver, into the large intestines. The large intestines takes it to it the um... small intestines and then. <laughs> yeah, I think that's called the kidney. Wait. Kidney. Well, which one is the kidney, babe? I think the Wait. kidney might be this. Wait. I think it goes on the Okay. Wait, let me see. And then it goes this one. Oh, that's cool. Where's the lock? There it is. Any more O's? <laughs> I like how this is going. One thing that I do that works out oh, really well for us is I try not to correct them. If they're working their way through some information and they get... You don't try to tell us what, how, if it's right or not? Right, I try to let you figure it out. Do you like that? Yes, <laughs> but not if it's hard to get, get it, to figure it out. But normally you guys figure it out. So, I let you use your... Brain. Your brain. <laughs> the brain, my precious. <laughs> oh, we did something wrong, Kendall. Now we have to take this all the way off again. Just for the record, we really love these little models, but we really wish they were better made so that we wouldn't have such a difficult time with them. But they're so good anyway. The body's trillions of cells need a constant supply of oxygen. Oxygen is taken into the body when the lungs breathe it in from the air. The cells use this oxygen to help convert glucose into energy. Mommy. Yes? This part of the skull is actually supposed to be like this. Like my head's like this. <laughs> yes. The process of releasing energy also produces a waste gas called carbon dioxide, which is harmful to the body. Breathing out releases... Part of that? Really? <laughs> Breathing out releases this carbon dioxide into the air. An adult breathes in and out about 20,000 times a day. That's a lot. That is a lot. But not as much as I 
In <laughs> Wait, guys, so an adult breathes in and out about. <laughs> He just went, he just blew it out. The respiratory system brings in air and oxygen into the body. Air is breathed in through the nose like this? and mouth. Like this? You would have to take the ribs off.